Um, here's how you do it. Uh, you go into Docs and you find this document, Ecuador Expats Map. And then you click on this link. Uh, I've seen it occur sometimes where this edit button doesn't show up, in which case go over near it and right click and click on reload or refresh or something like some re kind of thing which will refresh your page. But you get this edit there and you click on that. And you take, uh, there's three of these things over here that only one thing they're really interested in is this little uh, light bulb like thing. And you find out about where you are. You can zoom in a little bit if you like, excuse me. And uh, so we call you're in Cuenca. You probably get down to even street level on Cuenca. Uh, let's see. Or any of these other places. Um, so yeah, you see how we can get pretty close in. And it may even be, I'm just getting familiar with the maps function, you may be able to uh, actually post an address in here. But anyway, uh, once you have figured out where you want to be, let's say you lived over here in Ramirez de Valos area, you would take this and drop it. And then you put uh, your name here. Uh, and you put uh, Jose at uh, uh, voila.com perhaps. And I am an architect in the area. And then you put OK. And then what happens is that shows up over here uh, just like that. Now, I'm not Jose Ramirez, and uh, I'm going to take that out because of that. Just click on Delete. These things over here, Place Mark 4 and uh, Place Mark 2, are where others have a little bit of difficulty in them. Unfortunately, I'm not able to delete those. Only people can delete them are the people that made them. But anyway, there you go. That's our uh, evolving uh, kind of scene that we have here in our map of uh, expats in Ecuador. One last thing, uh, when you're done with this, don't forget to go up here and click Done, and that will save it. Okie doke.